Welcome to the College Park Fire Rescue Summer Safety Series. My name is Firefighter Joey Ruzan, and today we're going to focus on kitchen safety. We're going to look at the right and the wrong way of putting out a cooking oil fire in your home. Did you know cooking oil fires are the leading cause of residential structure fires? Approximately 40% of reported structure fires are caused by unattended cooking, with 36% of those fires causing civilian injuries. Understanding the difference between the right and the wrong way to extinguish a cooking oil fire could mean the difference between a small fire and a very large fire. So here are some tips to remember when cooking. Use a timer when cooking and never leave your cooking appliances unattended. Never let children cook without direct adult supervision. Maintain a three foot clear area around your cooking appliances while in use. Turn pot handles inward to avoid being accidentally knocked over. And test your smoke detector once every six months. Change the batteries when you change the time. Smoke detectors can alert you for an early escape in the event of a fire. So please make sure it works. The first thing you want to do before you attempt to put out any type of cooking oil fire, especially a small one, is identify your exits. Make sure you have a clear exit behind you in the event that the fire becomes out of control. The next thing you want to do is dial 911 or have someone else dial 911. Get the fire department en route to you. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Let's take a look at the right way to extinguish a cooking oil fire. If it's safe to do so, using a pot holder or an oven mitt, take a tight fitting lid and cover the pot or pan. Turn the stove off and allow the oil to cool for 15 to 20 minutes. Do not remove the cover prematurely. Let's take a look at what will happen if you do. Now, let's take a look at the wrong way to extinguish this same fire. Did you know that one inch of cooking oil causes one cup of water to explode into 1,700 cups of burning oil and steam. This is why we don't use water to extinguish cooking oil fires. It's definitely the wrong way. Flour can cause the exact same explosive reaction as water, and it will cause the fire to intensify and spread instead of extinguishing it. Another thing we don't use are kitchen towels, wet or dry. The reason why kitchen towels are not a good idea is because they become fuel for the fire instead of actually putting it out. However, you can use baking soda if you have plenty of it. Baking soda acts as a smothering agent to smother the fire, but it's going to leave a huge mess. So the most effective, efficient way to extinguish a cooking oil fire is to cover the fire with the lid, turn the stove off, and allow the oil to cool for 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, notify your fire department first. Thank you for joining us for our summer safety series. We hope that you've learned a little something that you can use today. This has been a live fire presentation presented by the College Park Fire Rescue Department. Remember, do not attempt this at home. To view these safety tips and more safety tips, please visit our website at www.collegeparkga.com.